the happiest person on, on earth. There's been lots of times, actually. I mean, I think I've, yeah, I've associated happiness with different things. Um, uh, being able to buy my mother a car when I first became successful and, and seeing her face and seeing her cry and, and seeing the pride in her face. Um, uh, the excitement of having a hit record, the excitement of playing with musicians that um, I never thought I'd ever dream of playing with. Uh, the excitement of falling in love with someone. Um, um, the happiest, you know, there's been so many happy moments in my life. Um, there have been more genuine happy moments uh, about things that really matter over the last few months, over the last year or so. Um, but I've been, I, again, I've had so many happy memories. I've lived, I've lived an amazing life. I've, I've met the royal family, I've met politicians, I've been to the White House, I've been to the Buckingham Palace, I've had tea with La Coalesca, I've been to Russia, I've been to China, I've traveled, I've seen a lot of things. Um, I, I, I've learned a lot by collecting art. I've seen the finest works of art. I've driven the finest cars. Um, I've lived a life of luxury. I've seen poverty. I've seen all angles of it. Um, um, and, I, and, and that's, I get, and yet some of the times I, I don't even remember I've been there either. But um, I take a lot, I mean, I've had an amazing life. Uh, and now I want to, 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 to live it all, to live again. Um, I felt that I died for several years. Uh, it was just a, I felt like Elvis Presley, like a carcass that had been shifted onto a plane. Flown to a place and said, right, you've got to sing this, and I'd sing it, and I'd go back to my room, and um, it was hell. Um, but there, there have been happy, lots of happy moments. But the true happy moments now are the fact that I can get up at 6 in the morning, look forward to getting up in the morning, and go, yeah, another day, great. I never used to do that, but that's, that's fantastic. You've changed as, as a human being. Has your music changed in that process too in this new album? I think it has in a little bit in the fact that it's very, it's very energetic. And uh, even the ballads have energy in them. And, and, and as I say before, they have a cutting edge, they're raw. Um, and I think you can tell, in, even in my voice, and the, there's more piano playing on this album. I've decided to, to you know, on the other albums, the last two or three albums before, there hasn't been so much um, individual playing from me. And I decided to do that because I like to play, and, I, and people like to hear me play, and I'm first and foremost a singer, a songwriter. And playing is very important. And uh, so I, I play a lot more on this album than I did before. I kept it a little simpler. Um, and I think, I just think the songs in general sound so much fresher than they did. Um, and um, I've listened to it a lot, as I say, and, and, and I'm not fed up with it. And I've been very, very critical. I didn't want to put out an album after three years that I didn't, that I was a little bit unhappy with in some areas. Um, I think Bernie, would, 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 who wrote all the lyrics in the album, would probably have preferred Understanding Women not to been on the album because he doesn't like drum machines. But, um, excuse me, there are things that we, they could, I mean, we, we agree to disagree on some things. And uh, I'm in charge of the music and he's in charge of the lyrics. And, uh, and it's always worked before. And, uh, Oh, we'll just have to see. I really, I'm very, very, very proud of this album. 